in terms of the grid going down, there are several different things that can happen or occur out here to cause such a calamity to happen. And it's not always just the United States here uh, that we're talking about. You're talking globally where any of these events could occur. And probably one of the most intense and most damaging would be completely out of our control as far as causing it or trying to prevent it from happening. And that is a CME coming off of the sun. Now, I've talked many times about EMPs or just attacks on the grid, and not even attacks, just glitches. 2003, there was the huge blackout, okay? And I don't buy the excuse on what caused none of that, but a lot of people were ill-prepared. Now, if you've not seen American Blackout 2013 by National Geographic, I suggest you check that out, too, just to kind of get an idea of what this world would be like this day and age if a CME did strike this planet. This would damage a lot, and not just the United States. You're talking all the countries of the world. Well, depending on who was on the sun-facing side when this came in. And who took the brunt of it. But really it could, it could send a shockwave all the way around a planet. From a direct hit. Now we're overdue for such an event. They had all this talk about the current solar cycle. And the potential of it being very bad. And we've already came all the way up to and through that whole process. And yes, we have seen some, some X flares and some CMEs coming toward Earth but nothing on the scale of what happened in 1859. Now see, at that point in 1859, they, didn't, they weren't dependent on all the electronics that we have today, all the computers. So when it happened, it really didn't, it really didn't bother them uh, too bad besides the fact that you know some telegraph machines, early uh, telecommunication systems, trains, things of that nature did see some effects but as far as shutting down the whole globe it didn't now those people obviously were prepared to survive living the way they were because they were already living like that they didn't have all the things we have today the thing is can you could you survive like those people did at that time and I no doubt believe that some of you could. But there's one element that those people didn't face that you would. And that is the hordes of starving people or whoever that's going to be coming through fields, yards, windows. Last ditch attempt to get food or something for survival or to feed their family. You see, those things didn't go down like that. Those people were used to living off the land. And today the people are not. And when McDonald's and, and Burger King and everything gets shut down, and the people are in the streets, I'm telling you, if you watch that video by National Geographic, you'll see that within 10 days, it all falls apart. And it's rather interesting at the end what you'll see about how Obama is the one in power during all this. And how the UN calls up their biggest mission in the history of the organization uh, to help the United States. But this is after 10 days. And who's to say after 10 days the lights would come back up? Many say be prepared for two years because from what we've seen, just in ordering some of the main parts, just in Ordering those, getting them shipped into place, in connected, has taken every bit of two years. But, it, you know, it it's all on you. And that's the main thing here. I've talked about it time and time again. Looking at it literally here in a different light. Not from an attack or anything else on the grid, but literally coming in from space. Something none of us can stop whatsoever. And it's going to happen. The kill shot. 
It's going to happen at some point in time. I just hope most people are prepared for it. And like I said, if you can live off the land, I hope you have food and water, everything, a plan, you know, put in place. But all in all, those first couple weeks, even months, you better be prepared for the other people, packs of people that will become animals, literally, for survival. You see, that's not the way it should be, but that's what higher-ups, elites, running this country, the guys pulling the strings, that's what they want. They want everyone to fall into chaos, whether it's by their hand or from the sun, because I believe they're prepared. The moves that they're making, I believe that they're prepared. So, question is, are you? You don't want to be stuck running around in the cities, caught in a chaotic event, if the lights go out. And like I said before, for the people that just don't want to get it, when I'm talking about an EMP or an attack or a sabotage on the grid, if they just want to turn the cheek the other way, well, here you have this. This has nothing to do with anything man can cause. Completely unpredictable. It could happen tomorrow. And you would only have 12 hours to prepare. I'll leave a link. It's been Dabu7. Peace.